How's it going guys, Zara here. So today I will be going over all of the trophies that I've achieved of getting in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And yes, as you have read that title of this video, I did not get the Platinum Trophy and nevertheless I still decided to make this video. Well, I got a full review about this game and why I didn't particularly enjoy it and this is also the reasoning why I didn't end up going for all the way till the Platinum Trophy. Nevertheless, I wanted to showcase all of the trophies that I have achieved, and let's just begin. Now, the beginning of the trophies are quite, quite simple. For the first time you're doing within this gameplay, you will be able to get these trophies quite, quite naturally. Staggered learning by staggering an enemy for the first time. I got this, win a battle for the first time. Break it down, use a limit break for the first time. Team player for the first time if you use an, a synergy skill. Explorative practices, exploit an enemy's weakness simply by, well, utilizing the methods of exploiting an enemy that you will be facing. Quite simple. No eye in the synergy, use a synergy ability. And then we're finally getting into the story trophy by completing chapter one by the name of Never Meet Your Heroes. New blood, raise your queen's blood rank. I absolutely love this card game. Fledgling Summoner, Invoke a Summon, very simple. Weapons 101, Max out a Weapon Ability Proficiency. A Materia World, Level up an Orb of Materia, quite simple, you'll get this naturally as well. Intelligence Aid, Gather World Intel at 5 separate locations. As long as you are playing through the game and going for those world objectives, you will get this naturally too. I break for chocobos, repair three chocobo stops, similar thing, just make sure you're going through the world and do those side objectives. Expert, Exwork Vator, use a chocobo to find two treasures buried by a rabbit. Very simple, as long as there's an indicator popping up while you're riding on your chocobo, follow it and you will get this trophy naturally. Entering new markets, complete a quest. Unfettered Friendship, free a bound ally. You will actually can get this quite accidentally and naturally as well. Director of Regional Intelligence, gather all pieces of world intel in a region. As long as you're doing everything within this game, you will get this too. Founder's Bonus, obtain a proto relic in the grasslands. If you're doing all the world intel, side objectives within the worlds of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, you will get this trophy. Swampy Situation by completing Chapter 2. Make Mine Black, complete Chapter 3. You work for me now, defeat a summon in a battle and obtain its materia. Catching In, complete your search of catchy location. Intelligence Specialist, gather world intel at 50 separate locations. Fort Condor Commander, obtain a proto relic in a Junon region. 7th Assemble, recruit all Midgard 7th Infantry units for the parade in Junon. Stealing the show, win the price of outstanding performance in a Junon parade. You can get this naturally as well, but as long as you're paying attention and you're on time with the QTEs, then you will get this trophy. The President's Accommodation, complete Chapter 4. Card Royalty, win the Queen's Blood Tournament held on board the Shinra 8. It's a part of the main quest and of course you're gonna have to play to win. Cryptic Cameo, complete chapter 5. Fun in the Sun, complete chapter 6. The Price of Progress, complete chapter 7. Worth the Wait, complete chapter 8. One Star Startup, donate 10 items in the Treasure Trove at Johnny Seaside Inn. As long as you're doing all the side objectives and just simple things around the world, you will get this naturally. Honorary Turk, obtain a proto relic in the Gongoda region. Crying Out, complete chapter 9. The Gambit Paid Off, obtain a proto relic in the Cosmo Canyon region. Star Fell From My Eyes, complete chapter 10. Moogle Lover, max out your Moogle Emporium Merchant rank by simply completing all the Moogle Lover quests. Professional Handler, obtain a proto relic in a Nibel region. You're not Murasaki, complete chapter 11. Hall of Famer, win all Chocobo races. A little bit tedious, but it is doable. 
critically acclaimed, receive a review of S or higher for your performance in Loveless at the Gold Saucer. Similar thing, make sure you're on time on the Q2Es and you'll get this naturally. 3 Star Hotel, donate 30 items to the Treasure Trove at Johnny's Seaside Inn. Cacture Crusher, obtain a proto relic in a coral region. Hearts Out Dukes Up, complete chapter 12. Bladesman of Legend, defeat Gilgamesh. I'm here for you, complete chapter 13. Confluence of Worlds, complete chapter 14, by simply completing the game. And that's it. Do let me know as well, are you going to be going for the Platinum Trophy or at least majority of the trophies within Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? As mentioned before, do check out my review video regarding a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and the reasoning also why I did not end up going for the Platinum Trophy. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, I'll see you guys all and have a wonderful day.